Yeah, while mm. they're dealing with fires in the West, we're dealing with rain here at home. We are, and, and that's uh, going to continue for us today, tomorrow, and uh, pretty much into Friday as well. Although uh, it looks like uh, into the weekend things might get a little bit better, a little bit drier. But I think that we'll probably see some uh, some rain into the weekend, but not anything like what we saw yesterday or what we're going to see uh, this afternoon. This is a look through our hotel modern camera. Overall, a pretty decent morning here in the Crescent City. Let me take you back out to the tropics though and show you uh, what is Tropical Storm Danny, uh, about 1,400 miles, or a little over 1,400 miles uh, east of the. Uh, the Lesser Antilles. Here's one of Danny's big problems as it goes further and further to the west towards the Lesser Antilles. Uh, dry air out of this, out ahead of this storm, is eventually going to going to be ingested by the storm. And once that starts to happen, uh, it'll start getting weaker. And then uh, looks like some upper level winds out in the uh, Caribbean are going to be a problem for this storm as well. Uh, but right now, it is expected to strengthen because it's over an environment that is pretty favorable for further development. And I think we're looking. At our uh, next hurricane of the season, uh, Hurricane Danny, but not until tomorrow. Here's the National Hurricane Center forecast track showing that uh, Danny becoming that Category 1 storm and eventually becoming a Category 2 storm before it weakens again to Category 1 storm status after dealing with some of that dry air. So that's what we're expecting to happen with Danny as it gets closer and closer to the Windward and Leeward Islands. So here's a look at your headlines for today. Danny's getting stronger. Uh, showers and storms for us continue today. And our rain chances, I think, are going to fall off a bit into the weekend. There's rainfall out there right now, not much over our heads here in southeast Louisiana. A few spotty showers out there, but if you're headed west on 10 towards Lafayette, Lake Charles, or Houston, uh, you're going to run into some very strong storms, some heavy downpours, some strong winds, and some dangerous lightning. So keep that in mind. For us here locally, uh, that rainfall is making its way uh, in our direction. This is the picture at noontime today. Not a lot of rainfall over our heads, but it is definitely back to the west of us. Over Baton Rouge, especially, uh, and into the Felicianas. That is going to move over our heads later on in the afternoon and uh, probably be done. We'll, we'll probably be done with the rainfall by about 4 or 5 p.m. this evening. So expect the rainfall. If you're trying to get some stuff done today, the morning hours, the best time to do that into the latter part of the morning of the afternoon. That's when the rain is expected to pick up. It's pretty high chance tomorrow and into Friday as well. And some higher temperatures into the weekend and next week as our rain chances go down. Susan, how are the roads looking?